facebook and google like what made you, what made you shift from uh, those uh long term companies where people might be thinking of settling down working over there so what did, what made you what was a tipping point for you to consider hey i i want to work at a startup instead of a better job at google so i i think um there's a couple of points i i always say here one one of the points is that when these companies build their brand and build their reputation they were small highly talent dense companies that were extremely brilliant right facebook back in 2007 google back in 2003 extraordinary talent everybody in the company was a genius but that's the talent they built their brand upon and then when you start expanding you have to dilute your talent you're not going to get 10000 engineers of that caliber so as you start growing you realize the big company things just start kicking in right and the big company things include you know the politics of how to launch things what you want to prioritize do you want to prioritize high quality engineering or do you just want to launch products that get users so people can can you know get promoted and so on and so forth these politics will happen in any big company i think it's almost unavoidable but what also is happens is the talent also gets lower and the experience really changes so the fundamental brand they built upon is not the same over time which is something that a lot of people conflate right google now is not google in 2003 the quality of google engineers now is not the quality of google engineers in 2003 and right now when you work on google products or facebook products you're not doing extraordinary work in many regards and many teams that are but many teams are just working on code bases that have already done a lot of the challenges solved a lot of the problems right the distributed systems problems the hardcore fundamental ml algorithms most of the teams are working or leveraging other people's code to basically build those products and so you're doing a lot of incremental work not a lot of fundamental work that's one of the reasons big companies in general started to be less interesting for me because i realized that i'm not really thinking very hard about fundamental problems i'm not really being able to design large scope pr- problems the only selling point really is you are impacting a lot of users which is true you are impacting a lot of users but the problems are fundamentally a little different so that's one of the main reasons uh two i guess two reasons one is the fact that big companies have a lot of uh, other dynamics and uh, the second being a lot of the stuff is already built for you so that those are sort of the reasons i wanted to explore a smaller space when you're in a smaller company of really talented people you see uh, how different it is from big companies i when i first left realized that i am really ill equipped to, to be in a smaller company like all of the skills that i thought i learned at facebook and google were very like specific to facebook and google they weren't really skills that i could carry forward here and a lot of the things i had to develop from scratch like understanding how public uh, li- libraries work what are the popular uh, libraries people use being able to transition really quickly into saying oh we're going to do our stack this way into like let's do our stack this way because it's way better even though it's only 6 months this product has only been released for 6 months all of those like thinking on your feet high high uh, high risk design decisions are something you get at smaller companies and of course you know you can move faster you have much more say over the product and at the end of the day you know at google and facebook you can not go to work for a year google and facebook is still going to be around at a smaller company if i don't do my work for the week people are yelling at me saying you know where's where's the stuff we're going to launch this we need it right now and so that sense of urgency i think i work best in because it really drives me to do my best and to push my limits and potential that's a bunch of reasons why i did move from a bigger to a smaller company right yeah that that's really interesting but one thing that really um, when i discuss with a few of my friends uh, working at big companies versus startups is they do make a point that uh, while you're working at google you you learn a lot of best practices so like you learn from the best that okay this is how this should be done uh, this is how perfectly it's done but versus work at a startup might be really messy because it might be you as the person as a dd who would be writing those algorithms or maybe the fundamentals of that particular product so it might be specific to what are the best practices of dd instead of um, having a lot of people work on it so do you face that thing like is uh, current your your current workspace really messy around do you do you have to like have a mental chaos that hey i'm i'm just working on too many things this is too much i just need to learn so in in a way my if i if i were to reframe my question as a young engineer who who has just graduated from his masters or bachelors or whatever degree would you say that working at a big company first for the few years really helps him or her to learn what are the best practices in general and then maybe make a switch to a 
young startup or is it still or would you still suggest that even you would you would have still done the startup thing just after your graduation instead of working four years at google this is a great question i think it's a really valuable question startups the, the fundamental aspect of this question is startups are extremely polarizing when you say startups it means no one thing right startups can mean really good startup with really strong people or a really shitty startup with for like not that great people so that's a range so when people blanket say startups it's very hard to generalize anything it could really have a wide variety of implications for our company specifically i can say that a lot of the people have had big company experiences and we in the first 25 people have only hired people who've worked in the industry for 2 to 3 years at least um and a lot of the people in our in our company have been in the industry for 10 to 15 years right so these people know what they're doing um in that sense the best practices are nailed we know exactly what the best practices are and i think there's a sense of how much of the best practices do we have to break in order to move faster and that's always going to be a tussle and um that that's that's one thing i'd like to say the second thing is whether i would go back if i were to go back whether whether i would choose to be at a smaller company or a bigger company out of college and that's i think a very practical practically difficult decision one of the decisions why one of the reasons it's really difficult is the signaling effect when you join big companies it's a signal like at the end of the day four years into facebook or four years into google amazon whatever you are then someone who's worked at a big company for four years you have some some repute which is understandable by people in the industry so then if you want to transition to do something else you have a price tag on yourself and you have some value associated with yourself whereas if you were at some no name startup that didn't take off no matter how good the people were three four years you might not have the same experience you might be treated very differently because people aren't aware of the technical difficulty of what you've done and you know recruiters are always guilty of this no matter what you write on your resume they're looking at the title right like they they don't have time to read all of that they don't a lot of them just won't understand all of that so you can say you know i've solved the world's hardest ml problems but at a company they don't they haven't heard of and then they look at another resume which says google but worked on a few buttons for them it's like this is google this i don't really know what it is so that's a pragmatic decision that you'll have to to make yourself um and for me uh, there were other factors as well you know i'm also an immigrant on this country you know h1b all of this stuff comes into play so if i were to do it again i would have probably joined a big companies still um for all all of these reasons um there are a lot of things you can learn at big companies but it's very difficult to not get complacent Uh, when you're at one of these big companies for two to three years, it's almost impossible to leave because you're very comfortable.